Yo, what's up guys, it's DPX here, reviewing today the 3.0 update of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is going to be a bit of a different review, it's going to be similar to my Piranha Plant review, um, as I just reviewed only Piranha Plant um, when he came out, but this is also going to be reviewing a bit of Stage Builder too. Um, of course there are other more additions like a video editor and sharing your stages and videos and screenshots and whatever. I'm not going to touch on those because I have, didn't really check them out. I'm going to only touch on Stage Builder and of course Joker. So let's get the elephant in the room out. That is Joker. Yeah, Joker is of course the first DLC character in the Fighter's Pass. Um, and He's a lot of fun, I gotta say. He's a lot of fun. He's very unique. Very unique. I love how unique he is. I seriously do. Um, so basically, his neutral special is a gun. He shoots a gun. His, um, his side special is sort of like... I don't quite know how to describe it. It's sort of like he launches like a little bit of fire. I never really played Persona, um, just so you know. So I'm, I'm not too... Um, familiar with this character. I, I, I have shared it, interest in playing Persona, but I gotta play that sometime soon. But, um, his up special is sort of like this, uh, tether recovery with, the uh, he just launches, like, some sort of whip or a chain, and it grabs onto, like, the ledge. And his down special is, uh, charging up Arsen. What Arsen is, is basically, like, this dude behind him that makes him stronger and it's really cool he's a unique character um sure you had people like cloud who you hold down b and um you uh um, you got your limit limit you got your limit break and that was unique at the time but then uh with joker everything is more powerful and everything like you have a second character on the screen now that's crazy it's he follows you so it's not like they uh, separate and you mess around no, it's not like that it's fine uh, it's good uh, it doesn't like yeah another unique thing he adds to the table is uh, the victory screens the victory animations um, first of all, it changes by the, the stage you play on. Well, specifically the Memento stage, which I'll get into a bit later. Um, sometimes the victory animation will be blue, sometimes it'll be red, uh, sometimes it'll be yellow, or sometimes it'll be green. And he has such a unique victory animation. Like, he'll, there's just effects on the screen. He'll be running throughout the whole time and the victory music will play through the whole time that's really awesome and you'll definitely see it throughout this gameplay I'm showing you here um, and it's just really cool um, let's quickly talk about mementos it's the stage he uh, that comes with Joker um, really cool stage uh, so uh, what it is basically is a stage from Persona. Uh, it looks a bit different, but you can definitely see the overall uh, similarities. Um, uh, so the stage—it's a place from Persona. Basically, like all these colors and stuff go around. It's pretty cool. I really haven't played Persona, so I'm not gonna pretend to know. Actually, I just realized. Wait a minute! I'm pretending to know what Memento is. But, uh, what is cool is that the color of the stage changes depending on what music you have. So, over here, I have a specific song that makes it blue. Actually, you probably don't see that because the, uh, my audio and the gameplay are definitely not going to be synced up. Like, let's just say you have a specific song, your stage is blue. Another specific song, stage is green, another one, stage is yellow, and another one, your stage is red. Um, uh, 
That's cool. I don't know any other stage that does that. I'm sure there's Mario Maker that is never the same every time you play. But this is still is the same, but like it just changes color depending on what music you have playing. That is cool. If I've ever seen one of those, uh, that's awesome. Of course, we got a lot of music uh, with this. Uh, mostly from Persona 5, but also from Persona 4 and Persona 3. It's, uh, he's a nice addition. I couldn't believe it when he was announced. Um, of course, I didn't make a reaction video because I was asleep by the time he was revealed. And I woke up and my friend texted me, Joker is the first, uh, DLC, DLC character for Smash Ultimate. I'm like, what the f***? Um, so yeah, that was, that was crazy. The fact that he's in this game, though, um, yeah, uh, there is one thing I want to say, um, remember on an episode of the DPX Talks for About an Hour podcast, um, which I will have in the link, I'll have a link to it in the description below. But on an episode of that, me and my friend Gus were talking about this data mine leak for Smash Ultimate. That included Joker, of course, he was already revealed at the time. But then Erdrick from Dragon Quest, Doom Guy from, uh, yeah, Doom, uh, Steve from Minecraft, and Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Um, it said that Jack Frost, which is a character from Shin Megami Tensei, which spawned Persona, which is what Joker is from, will be as a part of Mementos, I think, either that or he just appears for a skill. I'm not quite sure what it was, but Jack Frost will uh, have some sort of uh, presence in this. Um, and he's not, he's nowhere to be found. He's nowhere to be found. So, that might debunk the leak. Of course, I still think Erdrick will still be in it. But Steve, Steve might also be in it, uh, considering the Vergabin leak. And I, he has a good track record, but I think Ryu Hayabusa and Doom Guy, as much as I'd love to see them in, may be in jeopardy. But, who knows. Uh, yeah, Joker's a really fun character to play. Um, do I suggest you get him? Yes. Um, you should honestly get the whole Fighter's Pass. Uh, he comes with music and a pretty cool stage. They're all really fun. Um, now the next thing I want to talk about is the stage builder. Um, so we got stage builder. Finally is back. Uh, I really liked stage builder in Smash Bros. Brawl and in uh, Smash Bros. for Wii U. Uh, even if they were sort of lackluster, this one seems to uh, have a bit more. Uh, it's unique as well. So what's cool is that you get to have stuff in the foreground and in the background. You can have back layers and front layers. That's f cool. I'm sorry. That's cool though. It's really awesome uh, how Stage Builder is finally back, of course. And, you know, it's, it's a cool mode. Um, you can have many different, like, you can draw things, of course, and uh, many different, like, colors as well, um, and it's, it's awesome. I don't have a whole lot to say about Stage Builder, to be honest, but it's cool. Um, you can make, you can have things moving, like, uh, terrains you make, uh, you can have them move, uh, that's awesome, yeah. Alright, now I'm time. Now I'm gonna give uh, this whole update, really the stage builder and Persona's Joker. Uh, I'm gonna give it a rating. I give Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Update 3.0.0, I think, or something, in 8.5 out of 10. I gave Piranha Plant, I think, like an 8. I mean, it's not really. You can't really give it like a perfect 10. Can't give this like a perfect 10. It did sort of this update did sort of like lack. It didn't have a whole lot of things. Um, 
it, it has stage builder, which is awesome. Um, it does also have some other things that aren't quite like stuff I would use. Maybe the video editor I would use, but like not too many things I care about all that much. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, what do you think about the new uh, update for Smash Ultimate? What do you think about Joker? What do you think about Stage Builder? What do you think about the features I haven't mentioned? Did you guys get the Mii costumes? I never really mentioned the Mii costumes. Yeah, be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.